Okay, we're gonna be working on the rear tire of the F-250 today, rear wheel. The, uh, what I'm suspecting is the, the slide pins are totally free because this kind of locked up and got so hot that it looked like it was melting the rubber caliber slide here so I'm hoping it's just the slides are a little tight um, I replaced these before but you know, here we are again so I'm gonna take the tire off and take a look at that caliper so jack it up obviously get your cap off and then undo the tire Okay, so once you take the um, bolts off the back of the caliper on both sides here, you'll be free to move the caliper off. However, the pistons are likely still tight and you will have a problem just pulling it, muscling it off. So do whatever you can. And I just tapped in a couple screwdrivers to the pistons. Where is it? And then I'm going to use that to pry against the pet back of the pad and push the pistons back in uh, to the caliper and push them with that fluid away so that it will come off easier. Hang the caliper off to the side so it's not all on the brake line there. Um, I just spongied it up and it's sitting on this um, jack stand. So these slides seem okay. So I don't think it's them that are frozen. I'll take them off anyway and take a closer look. That might mean that the caliper, something's wrong with the caliper or the line, if um, fluid can't get back out, it'll keep the, the, the pistons extended and drag the shoes, which might have uh, might have been happening. Or it could be one or both of the pistons could be hanging up inside of the caliper itself but let's start by taking these out so you just pull them straight out I'm gonna clean them off, clean out the holes and re-lube them and see how they feel. All right, so with them cleaned up, I notice this top one, nice and easy all the way down. No problem with lube, I don't think that's an issue at all. However, this one, if you notice, is not going in all the way and it gets kind of bound up. Like, see, I have to, that's really, it pulled pretty hard there. So if this was getting stuck in, it could have been forcing pressure on the bottom. But this was the one that was smoking, so that's interesting, instead of this one. I'm going to have to find out what's happening inside of here. Alright, so I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but just to illustrate the differences here. I put that in and I can't turn it, it's real crusty and hard. If I take the bit out, wipe it off up top here to the one that isn't sticking no resistance at all so i'm just going to run this drill bit in here a couple times maybe put some grease on the threads to to catch anything and then um you know see if that smooths it out okay quick and dirty uh the pins are the right length they're the same i'm just sticking a q-tip in here and it goes down right about to the end just verify that the depths are the same Right about to the end, looks close enough to me. And let's see if we can uh, get in there. The top one looks in better condition, so I wonder if there's just a rough spot 
at the end here somewhere that's hanging it up Looks like there's a bunch of rust and stuff at the very bottom. Okay, so both pins now slide freely. It's not getting hang, hung up and it's not resisting at all. So I think that did it. I pulled some on the drill bit. I noticed some rust and stuff. So I wonder if, I don't know, maybe rust built up on, in the inside of the hole. See if I can get a video of it inside the hole now. All right, so I went and just grabbed a small packet. They feel about the same. So I think we're good. I'm gonna test the caliper since I have it out there. I mean the pistons for resistance. Okay, so I went and pressed on the brake to get the pistons to come out a little bit. And I'm just gonna push them back one by one and get a sense of is one harder to compress than the other. Okay, so that, that one went back. That's the bottom one, I think. Yeah, the bottom one went back without a problem. So now I'm gonna do that one. I'm just using a seat clamp, by the way. That one seemed a little bit harder, but I wasn't perfectly square on it either, so. I'm gonna say that's okay, and that sticking pin, because it definitely was sticking a little bit anyway. Might be the source, so we'll put this back together and see. Okay, it's all back on. It seems to be moving right. Okay, I'm gonna button this up and take it for a test drive.